Hey everybody, so I found another one of these Absolute Blasters. I do have a, um, the one I just opened that you can just watch that video if you like. Um, the last one I just got a, a couple of little good cards in there. I got a Kyle Trask, Zach Wilson, Patrick Sertain, and then a Trevor Lawrence. All base except for the Bice Storm. Uh, nothing else was good in the box, so we're going to open up a second box and see if we can find something decent. Um, you know, you know, of course, you always want to hope for the Kaboom cards. You know, there's lots of stuff in here. Um, I'm not sure why uh, Panini is so stingy on the really good cards in these blasters, so hoping we can find at least one really amazing card. It'd be nice to see. Um, I just don't have a lot of luck. I'm not sure what that is. I guess um, security tag. I don't have a lot of luck with uh, retail products, but you know they're cheaper to find than going to my hobby store and buying oh. hobby packs because those are stupid expensive. So, uh, man on a budget, so we get what we can get. Let's see what we got here: Mayfield, Stafford, and Chalk Jr. Got an insert of uh, Chris Godwin. Okay. Our rookies, Evans. Ian Book, that one's hard to read. Peyton Turner, Patrick Jones. And as always, if you want a kid reporter, you can have it. I mean, black box, they get a Trevor Lawrence then. But overall, the box was pretty weak. Chase Young, Joey B. Here's our first green. It is Jamin Davis. And Asante Samuel Jr. And that's it. So if this is any indication of what absolute retail product looks like, I am not impressed whatsoever. Murray. Josh Jacobs, Smith, Introductions, Travis Entian, um, Tyson Campbell, Jalen Waddell, Kellen Mond. Hmm. Well, Kellen Mond might be the best card so far of this box. There's another kid report if you want it. There's a Travis Entian if he was playing this year, but he's not playing, so. Our green uh, is Alvin Kamara, Sam Erlinger, Tyler Wallace, and Sewell. Whoops. Those are the wrong place. There we go. So Erlinger got to play last week in the Colts game because they were uh, up so far that they actually got in there and got to play a little bit. Kadarius Tony by story. All right. Man, these rookies are tough to find the good ones. I don't know, are they, uh, are they seated differently, maybe? Are the really good rookies hard to find? I would think they'd be about the same, but I guess not. There's a red zone. There's a Jamar Chase. That's the best one we got out of the box so far. This box is worse than the last box. Okay, we got a stargazing Josh Allen. Kyle Trask. And there's another kid reporter. All right, this one's just going to have a green insert. It's probably going to be a base card green insert. Which means another bust of a box. And that it is, Andy Dalton. Wow. Very, very unimpressed with this product so far. I mean, Jamar Chase is a pretty cool card. Okay. 
thought I had some more pity fleas here for them, but I didn't. I'm gonna go get some more of those. All right. So, um, that's a vintage one, that's why it's so big. So we got a Kyle Trask and a Jamar Chase insert, or uh, rookie cards, not inserts. Our inserts are pretty weak again. There's a rookie insert and there's a rookie insert, but nothing great. You know what? I have one more of these. Let's go ahead and do it because this is kind of a waste of time at this point. Absolute football, so far for me, has been an absolute bust opening. So we'll open up this last box. If it's any indication of the first two boxes, it will be just as bad. So, gotta say, not impressed with Absolute. I will not be buying more of these anytime soon. And maybe it's because I bought retail, I don't know. There's like Chubb insert. And Kid Reporter, if you want. There's our green rookie, and it is not worthy. Huh. Yeah, we got those rookies. So I need to figure out whether certain rookies are hard to find. I would think that all the rookies, the base cards would be seated the same, but I mean, it's feasible. I guess I'm wrong. I'll need to research that and see. There's a Calamond. Because, you know, they seem to be getting the same rookies now over and over again. And not the good ones. Comes a Baker Mayfield. Jalen Waddle's pretty decent, but three boxes. You think I'd find at least one really cool insert, but Rondell Moore insert. There's another Calamon, Sam Erlinger. Seen all those before. Another kid reporter. Seem to get more of those. Christian McCaffrey. Nothing getting rookies. I thought this pack felt thicker. I'm like, oh, maybe we got a hit. Nah. Mayfield, Stafford, Chalk, saw those before. Barkley. There's another Jamar Chase. Seen that pack already. There's another Kid Reporter. So they get two Jamar Chases in my three boxes. So those top 10 rookies are hard to come by. And this will just be another green insert of a veteran, of course, because that's what it's come so far. Seen those. There we go. Matthew Stafford. Same ones. Kyle Trask again. All right. So this box seemed to just be a repeat of the last box with a couple different inserts in it. That's about it. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. hope you uh, got more enjoyment out of watching me open that garbage than me opening that garbage. Um... Had a lot more expectations for Absolute than what was delivered. Didn't get any numbered cards in three boxes. As far as I could tell, I didn't see any that were numbered. Um, just got the basic inserts and everything. That was about it. 
So nothing numbered in three boxes. The best cards I got, of course, I got the uh, Trevor Lawrence, which is nice. I got a Kyle Trask, which is okay. Got two of those. Got two Jamar Chases, which is interesting. Got another Kyle Trask. Got a Zach Wilson. That's nice. And um, I'm not sure if this is a good one or not. Patrick Sertain, you know, seen play well this year, but that's it. Three boxes. Probably got about, I don't even know if these are okay. Got four decent cards in three boxes, and that's it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody.